Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you for joining me on another one of my Advent Countdown projects. This one is a super simple candle decoration. Now, um, I want to say here right now and at the beginning of the video, do not ever light a candle that has got decoration on it. It's a fire hazard. And if you're going to make this and give it as a gift, please do put a tag, a label or something in there that says to your recipient that the decoration is for decoration purposes only and to remove it before lighting. You just don't want your friend's house to go up in flames. Um, so this is literally, this is a decoration that I'm making for you. If you want to light it, just remove the ribbons and the burlap and away you go. So safety out of the way, I'm going to show you how to make another one of these and then actually how that I have them sat so that it is a decoration and not just a white candle with some burlap ribbon around it and that literally is all it is it's some of our burlap ribbon I have already trimmed one size and put sticky strip on and removed the backing because sticky strip hates me and videos so it's our burlap ribbon and it's the beautiful crochet trim and that is all there is to it so I'm going to just move those out of the way for one second and bring in my shorter candle um, you would cut your burlap so that it goes round so I'm not going to give you a measurement of this but if you are a fan of Ikea this is a set of five and the burlap I have cut to seven and a quarter inches and I have no idea what that is in metric can't remember so anyway I've got sticky strip on the ends and like I said I've removed the backing it hates me or rather maybe it's camera shy I don't know and wrap it around the middle and it meets exactly so I haven't got an overlap I haven't got a bump or a lump or anything like that and I've positioned this one in the middle although as you can see this one is taller and then I've got some crochet trim and I'm going to wrap it just around and I'm going to make a bow and I discovered a way of making bows that are pretty and don't flop or have bits in the wrong ways I don't know I doubt I have come up with this in my own brain it would be remarkable if I had but you make a loop with one piece a loop with the other piece and you fold one round so it goes round the back of the other through the bottom you've got a tail that's that's going in all over the place that's that's correct and when it flops down and you pull your bow will sit so your tails automatically hang down oh, isn't that clever like I said I really don't I doubt I've come up with this at all um, but I'm sure that there are other techniques on YouTube and the internet as to how to tie a bow so the tails hang down, but that's what it worked for me. Trim off the bits just to make it, oh dear, at an angle to make it look pretty. And that basically is your candle decorated. But you see, I wouldn't ever just stick one out. And I work in the rule of odds, so you put things out and display them in twos and uh, threes and fives so I have got three candles that are in different sizes and although you're not really going to be able to see let me see if I can twist this so you can that is how they would sit I'm holding these really badly you'll see it in the photographs on the blog the details are below but this is how they would sit and you'd put them in a nice pretty bowl maybe with some more crochet trim but all of the decorations peep round and on a cold winter's night because that is what we've got coming up cold winter's nights coming up um, you would have these maybe they would be sat in a window and there would be some lit candles near them or maybe you would have these on the hearth if you've got a fire or something but you just position them like that so that you've got your three different sizes with a little bit of burlap ribbon and some crochet trim quick instant decoration or you wrap them up in a box and give them to somebody like I say don't forget to put the uh, safety instructions in so my really really quick project for you I hope you like it um, I love candles, I have them everywhere, and I like to make them look ever so pretty. So, like I say, I will position these and photograph them for you so you can see better actually how that I have them set up with the different sizes. Um, and do go and check out the blog. But thank you very much for watching. Bye.